Hey, Jeff Howard here at Kiteboarding.com, and we're kind of titling this thing for your information and why we have people asking us about certain specifics on a kite. Now, what we're going to go into this time is the surf style kite. <clears throat> when a designer goes into designing a surf style kite, there's a few things they look into. One, which is the main thing, is very, very stable and drift. What that means is when you're out there riding on a surfboard and you get on a wave, you can release the bar and the kite will want to drift backwards. It'll always want to follow you down the wave. <clears throat> That's called drifting. That is a main thing. Now that is caused uh, by getting the kite to be very stable. Now stable means that it doesn't want to ride forward or ride over. Now the things that make that happen in a kite are the luff curve of the cell, which is increasing the arc of the front first one third of that cell. Another way is by increasing the size of the leading edge. Now, those two little factors can make that kite drift and float backwards. If you get the leading edge too big, it doesn't have the forward drive and the upwind ability. That's what you will find out in a surf type kite. It's not the best upwind machine. So think about those things. That is something that's going to be in a surf kite. If they call it a surf style kite, it's going to be very stable. The other one is quick turning response. When you come up on a wave, a lot of guys used to make their lines shorter and shorter to get the kite to respond faster. So if you have an older kite and you want it to respond faster, shorten those lines down. Now, not too, too short. You'll see some guys that have run them really, really short. That'll also decrease your power, so don't do that too much. But you want a surf kite to turn very fast. The faster it turns, the quicker when you come up on a wave, and you pull it and that kite gets response, it turns and heads back the other direction and that's what you're wanting. If a kite is too slow, you will out turn it. It'll just be very doggy feeling. You'll be waiting for it. and You don't want to wait for it when you find that right way. Now, what a designer does to get that kite to turn that fast is by widening the wingtips. You will look at some of the best surf kites out there and they will have a very wide wingtip and probably very thick. We're looking here at the Mutiny Series kite, and you can see how deep this is right here at the wingtip area. And you're looking up here on the strut, this is a lot deeper as well. What that does, a turning of a kite, is the warping of the kite. So the more surface area you have, the more that wingtip will stall, and the other one will come over a lot faster. So those are what you're looking at. Now, do you wonder if a kite's going to fit you, if a surf kite's going to be the one you want? If you're an all-around average type rider and you're not looking for the fastest speed, you want something that's very stable, easy relaunch, just handles really nice, a surf kite will be there. But if you take that kite, and yes, it will turn really fast, but you just won't get the pop out of it. You won't get the yank out of it when you go to turn that kite. So if you like an all-around, if you're in those waves, a surf kite is fun to fly, but as for jumping, it's not going to be there. It's not going to be your jumping as kite out there. So, surf kites are really nice. It's great to have one of those. A lot of them average in the 10 meter size and 9 meter size. You get one kite. I have one in my quiver. I really, really enjoy it when I'm out there wave riding. It does make a huge difference. It really enjoys your ride. You get the surfboard, you get the right mix, you get the right size. You will have a fantastic time. So if you have any questions, please give us a call. We've got a lot of great riders in here, surf type rider guys, and they know what they like. And I let them ride just about anything they want here in this shop so they can test it and tell you the truth about getting you what kite fits you. Not just what we have in stock. We like to sell you the kite that works for you, the rider. Anyway, that's Jeff Howard here at KiteBoarding.com to give you more information. If you have any questions and you'd like for me to answer, please send us an email at info at kiteboarding.com. Have a great day.